Hey guys, Peculiar here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be on a DIY crochet press that I just came up with. The first step is to make a slip knot and chain a chain of 16. Now to make a chain you have to yarn over and pull through. I made the chain of 16 because I wanted my purse to be a bit smaller but you can make yours to the size that you want. It all depends on your preference and how big or small you want your purse to be. So I used a size 4mm hook and a size 4 yarn in the brand Red Heart. After I chained 16, I went on and started working my half double crochets across all the chains that I made. So guys, I'm done working my half double crochets across the chain and normally I would chain one and turn my work but no, I'm not going to do that today. Instead, I'm just going to keep making my half double crochets in a circle till I get to the end. So this is what is going to enable the purse to like make a bag shape and a turning shape. So that's why we're not chaining one and turning our work instead we're just working in circles So as you can see, I'm done with my second layer of half double crochets and now I'm just trying to pick out the stitch because sometimes they can be buried under and sometimes you can't see them. So that's what I was just doing. And then I place a half double crochet and I keep going around in circles because that's the only way the bag is going to form. You have to keep going in circles. Do not chain one. Just keep going in circles. and. As you keep doing that, it's going to keep forming the bag and the pointy sides. And yeah, just keep doing that. My work already started taking the shape of a purse and that's because I did not chain one or I did not skip any stitches and now I'm turning my work um, upside down because it's easier that way to place my half double crochets. I just kept placing more half double crochets and I made about 15 to 16 rows thereabout and you're just going to keep placing more rows until you're satisfied with the length of your purse or the width or whatever.
Um, I just finished making my rows of half double crochet and when I get to the sides I just make or insert a slip stitch and after that we're gonna make where the straps holes for where we're gonna place the straps we're just gonna chain three chains and then skip a chain or a stitch and then move on to the next stitch and place a half double crochet and we're just gonna keep doing that we're gonna chain three skip a stitch and then place the half double crochet in the next stitch and that's how we're gonna form the holes for where we're gonna put the rope for the straps and we're gonna tie it and stuff like that You're going to keep making this pattern until you get to the ending of where we started the pattern and we're going to make a slip stitch and fasten off. I just finished making the holes for where I'm gonna attach my straps and I'm just making a slip knot so that I can make the straps and I wanted my chain to be a bit thicker so I changed my hook to a size 6.5 millimeter hook and I just kept chaining the chains that I wanted. I don't remember how many chains that I chained up but it's totally up to you and it's totally up to your preference and how long you want your chain to be you can use any size hook that you want to make your chain and that's just up to you So I finished making my chains and now I'm just cutting off and fastening off and I just cut off the excess yarn from my purse too and I just go on and start putting and fixing my chains into my purse to make that design and I'm just going to keep doing that till I'm done and I'm going to meet you guys at the end. So guys, I just finished placing my rope into the holes and now I'm just making it tighter so it can be able to close and I'm just tying it and making a bow. Um, so I'm done with this um, bag and you can place your coins, your anything, your chapstick, your lipstick, any tiny thing you want that you don't want to like lose like your keys like anything you want to put inside you can just place them and it's very very useful and i hope you guys like this video thanks for watching